Hey everyone and welcome back to the Daya Besties channel, Jazz over here. And today we are going to talk about a topic that is very close to my heart, uh, especially because I am very interested in type 1 technology and also because I use this particular system. We are going to be talking about DIY APS, which stands for Do It Yourself Artificial Pancreas DIY Loop. So I always begin by saying the life with type 1 diabetes is not easy. You have 6 to 7 insulin shots, corrections, hypos, hypers, uh, pricks in a day and it gets a little frustrating. That was then made a little easier with the introduction of insulin pumps and CGMs. And this is personally my journey. So I was introduced to the Omnipod in 2014 and the Dexcom G6 two years ago in 2018. While this definitely helped me you know, become a little bit more in range and it also helped me uh, manage my diabetes better. I still had fluctuating sugars. And why was this? This was because I was having real-time insulin delivery. I was having different basal presets. I was also having real-time monitoring, but I still had fluctuating sugars. And this was because there was no intelligent real-time insulin adjustment. And then enter DIY APS. So I'm going to be talking about my journey with DIY Loop using the Omnipod APS with Riley Link and the app which is Loop. The components you need for this particular system are a insulin pump, in this case it's an Omnipod, a CGM which in this case is a Dexcom G6 and the Riley Link which is basically a radio communication device that talks between these two elements. So here is a picture of my APS system. As you can see, I have my Dexcom, my Omnipod and my Rally Link and there is a phone app which is called Loop. Now what is the process of building this? The process is first that you need to build the app since it is DIY, it is very true to its name. You have to sort of code it in. Now it's not as rocket science as it sounds but yes, you do need to be a little technologically savvy and if you are, it's very easy because there's beautiful documentation done on GitHub. So with the GitHub documentation, a lot of things just to be copy pasted and you can build your app. For this case, I had to download Xcode. I had to have an Apple app developer license. But once it's done, you, you get the loop app onto your phone and you can begin. Once you have the app on your phone, you have to enter a bunch of um, settings. And these configurations are insulin sensitivity factor, carb to insulin ratio, suspend threshold, override settings and target range. Now these are the different settings that you have to enter into your app so that it can build its algorithm. So simple things like ISF, uh, ICR, you guys are aware. Um, suspend threshold is after what range do you want the insulin to suspend. Override settings are whenever you want to work out or you want to have a high carb meal. It just shifts your uh, target range to compensate for the sugars. And then the magic begins. The DIY loop system begins to correct every five minutes whenever it loops depending on your blood sugar values. So I'm going to enter a screenshot over here of my real-time basal changes. As you can see, it is changing every single time it's looping and this is to compensate for the sugar values. So even if I have, say, not bolus enough for my meal, the basal settings will take care of my sugar. So as you can see in this picture over here, it is changing every five minutes just like a normal pancreas would. Just like type 1 diabetes, it's gone. Over here, as you can see, this is a picture of my insulin activity. As you can see, um, the in the night, the basal are just shifting up and down to compensate. And the spike that you can see is because I have bolus for a meal. So when you do have to bolus, you have to actually manually bolus. And as you can see, the spike shows that. In this image, you can see my graph. And that is basically the dotted lines are values and the dashed lines are predictions. So the... The basal makes judgments and decisions based on the dashed lines over here. What is the impact of this entire DIY loop system? Minimal hypos, decreased severity of hypos, and of course, a greater time and range. The quality of life has improved drastically. There's better sleep, less anxiety, less frustration, um, reduces the burden of diabetes because it makes decisions for you. And the most important thing which I keep telling people is that the APS keeps up with my timetable. For example, with a normal insulin pump, I had different basal settings in the day, okay? The basal timetable was set, but I had to match that timetable, which means in the morning from 8 a.m., if my basal has shot up from 0.8 units an hour, it's become 1.7 units an hour. 
and if I don't wake up to have breakfast, I will fall into hypo. In this way, the loop matches with my timetable. So let's say I want to sleep in one day, I want to wake up at 12. Even if I don't wake up to have that meal, the loop will correct for my insulin. So it will reduce my insulin, it will suspend my insulin, so I don't fall into hypo. So now I am going to sort of fill the screen with some of my graphs before I started looping. So as you can see, I have had massive fluctuations in sugars, it's going high, it's in 400s. Even if I was time in range, it was a very high time in range. So these are the sugars before I started looping. And now I want to show you some graphs of after I started looping. And as you can see, um, I'm completely time in range. These are not taken on the same day. These screenshots are taken on different, different days. But as you can see, my time in range is almost 95%. Now I want to show you a picture of the day I began looping. The day I began looping, I had massively fluctuating sugars. And as you can see, the day I began looping, the it started correcting, it started working its magic, and then I was time in range. The pros of the DIY loop system, it's a technological marvel, no doubt about it. You can bolus from your phone and your iWatch, which is very, very convenient. It's very digital and it is very tech savvy as well. So you don't need to carry another device. You have your phone with you always. So you can bonus from your phone. Override settings for people like me who are dancers, who are fitness enthusiasts, you can avoid hypos at all time. It adapts rapidly because it's made by the patient. So since I began looping in November, I have already updated it twice. It's like a normal phone. You update your system the same way you update your loop system. It's by the patients, which really is a big, big pro because there is a user-centric design, which is very important. And finally, there's an open loop option for people who have just begun looping and they're not too confident in it. What the open loop does is that it will still make the decisions to change the basil, but it will alert you and ask you first. So it'll ask you, okay, I want to change the basil from 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. Okay, and then you press confirm. So the open loop option is for beginners who are not too sure about the closed loop and want to build their way into it. Of course, there are a few cons over here. One, it is that it is DIY, which means do it yourself. So people who are not too technologically savvy can find it a little difficult. Not FDA approved yet. So people who are worried, I'm not too worried about that, but it is at your own risk. So remember that. Tech trouble at times. Because it is a completely digital platform, yes, there are a few tech troubles. Once I remember, all my settings got wiped out and I had to sort of figure it out again. So yes, just like anything technological, it can fail. Red loop option at times. So sometimes when all your devices are not close, your Riley link, your phone needs to be close to your pump at all times. If it's not, there'll be an error in communication and you'll have a red loop. So it will not connect for you automatically. And finally, since it's not FDA approved, since it's a completely patient-run initiative, there is no helpline, which means that there's no toll-free number you can call in case you are stuck. All there is is social media. There's a very active Loop Facebook group, and uh, so you can ask your questions over there. Yes, the DIY Loop system does not only work for Omnipod, Dexcom, and Riley Link. There are different compatibility and options. So I'm going to put a picture of that over here. I am not too aware about them, but yes, there's a lot of so websites and blogs out there which tell you about the compatibility even if you're on Medtronic farms, if you're on Dana farms, etc. Uh, there is also something called Open APS and Android APS for those using Android phones and an Open APS version which also allows some cross compatibility. I, the loop what I use is only available for iOS. So I'm just going to end with saying that the loop does not sleep so that people with diabetes can. It has completely changed my life and my diabetes management. Uh, we are, of course, trying to make it more accessible so that everyone can use it. Uh, but this was just a little in-depth um, video about looping. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and we will try to get back to you ASAP. But till then, stay safe, stay happy, live happily, bolus regularly. And as always, be type 1 of a kind.